This photo reminds me of the days when I had a giant wobbling ginger afro and there were some quite painful memories associated with it. I think I was probably bullied on a daily basis for much of my school life. You call it chronic bullying, which means that it was constant, really. I'd be walking down a school corridor and someone would come up to me and make some sort of reference to me about the colour of my hair. And that was quite difficult, as you might imagine, because someone was questioning you every day of your life on your appearance. And that quite obviously then leads to insecurities of all sorts. I think being bullied also made me doubt how attractive I was to women or to girls when I was a boy. Because if someone is telling you, or various people are telling you, that you are different, that you're other, it does make you doubt yourself. And I wondered for many years, well into my adulthood, how attractive I was or not. And that was quite something that was something quite difficult to deal with. And it was really very unpleasant. There was one point, I think, when boys were threatened with expulsion because it got so serious. It felt humiliating. And so when I got home at the end of the day, it was quite difficult to adjust. Later in life, when I developed quite acute anxiety, and anxiety is something I, I, I think that's been with me on and off from a very early age, right back from when I was three or four, I'd run out of the school gates and get my dad to promise me that I was going to be picked up at 3.30 on the dot by my mum. I think I was by that stage four or five. So anxiety has been there right the way through, on and off, through my life. But it's quite possible that the bullying contributed to that, that there, that there is some sort of connection with being bullied to feeling anxious. And so it was a really quite unpleasant experience. And as it was going on, I probably wasn't always as conscious of it as you might think because it was happening so regularly. But it definitely had an effect. It made me insecure. It made me doubt myself in some ways. It also emboldened me. It made me want to be able to defend myself. It made me be, want to be able to hurl insults back at the bullies. One of the long lasting impacts of that, strangely enough, is that I've had to be quite careful because I developed a vicious tongue. So in later life, that can give you all sorts of problems. And I've really had to watch myself, watch the way I use language, watch the way I communicate with other people. This is a little bit difficult to talk about, but I have asked myself since leaving school whether I might inadvertently, without realizing it, have bullied other people. And I think that's a really powerful and important message to all of us, that the words that we use towards others might have a disproportionate or indeed unintended effect. It's so important that we consider when we communicate with other people how that other person might receive what we say. You might say something to someone that you had no idea would constitute bullying, or very little idea anyway. But you have to remember that if you are, let's say, a confident personality, someone else might not be so confident. They might seem to be, but they might not be inside. And therefore, something you say to them that you would be quite capable of dealing with yourself might have an effect on them you had no idea about. So be careful, be sensitive, think before you speak. Wonder, ask yourself, what would it be like to be that other person? Coming back to school today, I suppose makes me remember the good and the bad of school. There's so much good in school life. There's so many opportunities wherever we are at school. There's so much to throw yourself into. And it just reminds me that the importance that we treat each other kindly and with respect. And there is such a variety in all of us. Let's celebrate that. Let's explore it. Let's be excited about it. The other is exciting. If someone does look a bit different, if someone does behave a bit differently, we don't have to feel threatened by it. We don't have to pounce on it and say, oh, by isolating them, we make ourselves feel stronger. No, we are stronger together. and We're stronger as a community when we learn from each other. My back to school advice is that you are every bit as important. You are worth every bit as much as every single other person in your classroom. And if you are bullied, report it. Don't be afraid to tell a teacher. 
In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Go to www.antibullyingpro.com forward slash back to school to find out how. Share your back to school picture and share your back to school advice using the hashtag back to school. This campaign is run by the Diana Award Charity.